Over the past few months, I've been slowly updating the apartment and most recently my workspace. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the bedroom and the process of reorganizing the space. The goal of this project is to have a dedicated workspace for my girlfriend and a comfortable space to retreat to. The previous state of the bedroom is extremely chaotic. Things lying around the table, clothes on the chair, and random goods lying around the floor. As time goes on, the room felt more stressful than it is comforting. The first step is to get rid of things we no longer need. We sold both tables back to IKEA to make space for the new desk and new furniture we plan on getting. Once we got rid of this, the space is now ready to be filled. Next, I did some quick measurements to make sure that the pieces I plan on getting will fit and allow ample space for us to walk through. The first thing I got is the desk, which I purchased online from Mocha. Assembling is much easier than IKEA furniture since they label every component and the manual is very clear. The whole process took me about one and a half hours to build as I ran into a hiccup of a broken screw. The final result looks great tucked into the corner of the room. Since the desk will only be used one to two times a week, we decided to get a classic im style chair with wooden legs to complement the look. Then I added a bench to allow extra room for seating and laundry, which helps keep the bed clean and avoid using it as a catch-all place. Assembly took less than 15 minutes as all I have to do is attach the legs. The fabric top is comfortable to sit on, while the timber legs give an extra warmth and matching the timber desk. Since the desk is pretty compact, I opted to get a floor lamp instead of a desk lamp, which frees up some desk space and helps break up the wall. It has a matte black metal finish and a hint of wood tones that gives a minimal yet warm Scandinavian look. I added a Philips Hue bulb like the rest of the house to be able to control the temperature, this allowed the lamp to also be used as ambient lighting at night, together with the light strip which I've previously installed behind the headboard. The last thing is a set of wooden wall hooks from Scandinavian brand Muto. Installation is pretty straightforward, but takes a little bit of time as it requires some drilling. Once everything is installed, it's time to organize our stuff and put on some decorations. I try to keep it minimal. A couple of plants, a diffuser, and a book should do the trick. There is also a portable speaker on the dock at the corner of the desk, which we often take out to use in the shower. On the other side is a reusable bag and handbag on the wall hook, and my weekender bag tucked under the bench. By making these few changes, we now have a comfortable space that we can retreat to, and a functional space to wake up to. The desk also allows my girlfriend to have a comfortable space to study and work. The overall design is pretty minimal with a hint of Scandinavian. Warm wood tones paired with neutral colors of black and grey, and a touch of greenery for a more welcoming feel. For the rest of the bedroom, we keep everything as it is. The headboard is custom made using two 1.5 meters wood top and two floating shelves on each side. Behind is a Philips Hue light strip for ambient lighting, which we can control using a wireless remote attached to the headboard. I invested in a high quality bamboo duvet cover, which is extremely soft to the touch and highly breathable. And that's an update to our bedroom. I'm happy with the result as we now have a system and place for things instead of dumping it all over the place. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.